You guys know how much I love my Switch, but my case is a little bit boring. I have my Switch here, I have a bunch of extra Joy-Cons, I got my games over here, but that's, that's all there is to it. What if my case could not only protect my console, but also charge it when I put it away? Where something like that actually exists, let's take a look at it. Now here's the interesting thing about this case. I got it quite a while ago and the reason I didn't do a review on it yet is because at the time there was a lot of confusion over switches being damaged by third party chargers or was it docks? Well, people were really confused for a while but it seems now the consensus is the problem was docks all along. So according to what I've read everywhere on the internet, third party chargers seem to be okay. It's third party docks that are the problem. Now it goes without saying that anything not made by Nintendo is not supported by Nintendo. So you gotta keep that in mind. But again, you can search on the internet yourself. It seems everybody's pretty comfortable with using any charger really. It's the docks that are the problem. So now I feel a little bit more confident about using this thing. Though it has some issues. So first let's open the box here. It's made by the people over at, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Besto, Bestor X, Best Orcs, Best, oh, anyway, it's made by those guys right there. That's the people who make it. So let's, uh, I got I got some nice pink scissors here, courtesy of Natalia. That's, that's all the scissors I could find here and I'm in her house still. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay. So here's the case. Let's uh, pull it out. It's nice and nice and hefty. There's some, there's some there's some some weight to it. Of course, there's a big battery here. In fact, a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. So not bad. So once you take that off, you can see that here's the case. It's not that much bigger than the than the width of a regular case. Just you know, there's there's more to it. We're gonna get to all of that. So first here on the surface it's a nice I don't know how to describe the surface but there's some texture to it it's uh it's nice I like it it's not so smooth like this one is kind of like smooth it's like it's some kind of rubber finish on it this one is kind of like a little bit more rugged feels nice so I'm gonna open this here and as you can see we got a few things in here so first we have a uh, magnetic charging case, battery case for the switch this is a little instruction leaflet I mean, it's a case that charges your switch. I think we're gonna be okay without this. So we also have a little sticker here uh, that says just some um, some regulatory information, I guess, and also says the input that this thing takes, the output on the USB. We're gonna get to that later. Some stuff that you really don't care about. Uh, we also have what is this? This is a it's a little card. Dear customer, blah blah blah. Okay, there's two of them. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna put this over to the side right here. This is kind of cool. So they provide you with, oops, did I just lose the thing that makes the whole thing work? Oh God, no, it's right here. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That could have been a problem. Anyway, we got a little case here. As you can see, it's a little game case. So it uh, fits four switch cartridges. If I can open the other side, that is. Uh, come on, there we go. It's nice and, nice and snug. I feel like I'm gonna break a nail trying to do this. Oh, does it open the other way? Am I, am I? Oh, here we go, that's why. So it opens the other way, like this. So four games. Uh, it's not enough for me, but if you only have four physical games, they got you covered. And there's a little pouch area here on the top where you can put controllers or your games or, I don't know, some snacks. This is the meat of the thing here. So we got this little flap here, and there is a space here at the bottom to fit your switch. And here is the charger, as you can see. It's showing three LEDs here. Uh, when it's fully charged, it'll show four. Now here's where the, the finish of this thing falls a little short. I'm sure you can tell there on the camera, there's a little bit of light bleed here on the button that activates the charger. And the LEDs, they're not sitting right under the holes here. They're a little far down. It's a little hard to see, but as you can see there, so the the quality it, it could you see see what I mean like it's far down there this is something you often see on cheaper devices it's not horrible but I I notice things like this right so uh, but other than that the finish everything is, looks really nicely and well made I just wish they had put some more thought into this area here so this is where the battery is this is where this is why the case is pretty heavy at the bottom here you see a regular USB port and a micro USB port you're gonna use this to charge the case and this one is output so you can charge something else as you're charging your switch now of course it's gonna kill the battery in the case 
faster, but you can charge your phone and your switch or uh, two switches if you have a USB-C cable lying around. So I'm going to show you how this works. This is interesting. So as the name says, I'm going to get this again. It says magnetic charging battery case. Well, what's magnetic about it? I'm glad you asked. So this is how this thing works. It's actually pretty cool. This is something I've seen before for other devices, but not for the switch until I saw this. This right here, I'll show you here, it's a little USB-C magnetic, I don't know how to call this, but it's a little plug-in that goes in the USB port of your Nintendo Switch, like so. I'm gonna put it like that, there you go. It fits really snug, so right there, so it's, it's right there. So now when you dock your, well, I mean, I'm saying dock, but you know what I mean, that's not what I mean. So when you put your switch in the case like that, it's gonna contact with the, with the little charging thing here and you press the button and it should, let's see here. Yeah, there you go, console battery 98%. Now it's charging my switch, so I can push it all the way down there and now it's charging my switch and I can just, yeah, so now here's here's the problem. Now this thing fits pretty snug and it's a little hard to take the switch out. I've seen some people pulling at it on the on the Joy-Con analog stick here, which I don't like to do. Uh, I tried putting my fingers down here. This yeah, so this this is a way better way for me. So as you can see, I pulled it out. Now it's not charging anymore. I'm gonna show you again here. You attach that like it touches that side there, and now it's charging again. So that's pretty cool. Now one of the problems I have is the fact that. Like I showed you, if you push this all the way down, it's down there pretty snug. You have to kind of stick your finger on the corner here and pull it up, which can be annoying, but it's not, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, one of the things this is for, like you're gonna put this thing down there, you're gonna have it charging, you're gonna close this, and now you're carrying your switch around and it's being charged at the same time, which can really come in handy on long trips or things like that. Now, the other thing you can also do is you can put the flap down like so, and this creates a bit of an angle, and now you can rest your switch like this, and that way you're still charging it, but now it's at a slight angle. I'm gonna show it to you here. As you can see, see how it's at a slight angle now? So this way, you can detach your Joy-Cons and actually play like this. So I can imagine somebody being on a plane and doing it like this, like you're charging your switch, you're still playing your game. This is a better way to charge your switch while you're playing on the plane, for instance, because as you know, the USB port is at the bottom of the switch. It's kind of hard to prop it up and charge it at the same time. If you're traveling and charging your switch as you're playing, you have to do this, which isn't an optimal viewing angle. Now, so this is actually pretty interesting. Again, if you can get past the anxiety of charging your switch with a third-party accessory which again for quite a while the switch community has been I think a little afraid of doing if you can get past that this is an interesting little accessory for your switch it's definitely on the more unique side now like I mentioned earlier this thing has a 12,000 milliamp hour battery so it's pretty hefty and you can also use it to charge other devices too which again it's really nice it's definitely something you want when you're traveling now what are the downsides of this thing of course there's the fact they have to put this little thing here now this is there pretty tight and every time I take it out I have to kind of like wedge it out it's a little trick as you as I'm sure you can tell oh here you go so I pulled it out don't worry about it this there's a nice uh, glass shield here on this thing so but anyway there it is and it comes with two and the reason I only showed you one here is because I already misplaced the other one, but it's okay. They, they, they give you two and I like that quite a bit. This is both useful for people who lose things and say if you have a sibling or a spouse or something like that who has a switch, you can have their switch being charged on your case when you're not using it. So that's pretty cool. I like, I really like the fact that they included a second one in the case. Now, this is an interesting case. Definitely one of the more unique switch accessories I've seen. It's quite more useful than a lot of the stuff that I've seen before. So, but there's that. There are a few issues, like I said, putting your switch all the way down there makes it, it's almost a perfect seal. It's a little hard to pop it out. Some people, like I said, resort to pulling on the analogs, which I personally don't like. And there is that inherent anxiety of using an unlicensed third-party charger. Again, according to all of my research, consensus on the internet seems to indicate that's perfectly fine. It's third-party docks that could potentially kill your switch, but I feel like that's gonna still make some people steer clear of using anything that's that doesn't have a Nintendo logo on it somewhere to charge their switch. The other thing that makes this kind of difficult to recommend is the price. It goes on their website for 90 US dollars, which is 
pretty high. I mean, for that money, you could get a Switch game and then some. You could go crazy on the eShop. You can pick up a second pair of Joy-Cons. It's hard to justify a case that charges your Switch at that price. If this thing was, say, 50 bucks, that would be that would make it a no-brainer for me. But at $90, it makes it a little bit hard to recommend. It's still pretty decent quality. Like I said, it offers a, a fair amount of, of protection, I feel. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. It's nice and like there's some weight to it. There's some there's some meat in the bones here, but you know there are those caveats. But yeah, this is the best orc, best orcs. Did we did we decide on that? Best orcs magnetic switch case. Is that what is, what is the full name again? The magnetic charging battery case. Pretty decent. You know, if it weren't for the price. It'd be a lot easier to recommend. Anyway, what did you guys think? Do you have a case that you would recommend over this one? Let me know in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for cool or very useful Switch accessories. I feel like I have quite a bit, but hey, how many accessories can a man have, really? And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy, and I'm done.